this question we've got an equation y is equal to e squared divided by x plus e to the power of x. x can't be zero. Find dy with dx to start with. Now first things first, just notice, this is very important, e squared is just a number. Okay, it's not a function, so don't try using the quotient rule, some nonsense like that here. It's just a number, like 6 or something. So I'm going to rewrite this as y is equal to uh, e squared, it's just a number, yeah, x to the power of negative 1 plus e to the x. And then I'm going to differentiate this. So dy by dx, e squared, just thinking of it as a number like 2 or whatever, differentiate this. Uh, bring down the negative 1, so negative e squared x to the negative 2 plus negative e to the, uh, sorry, is it e to the x? Oh, it's just e to the x plus e to the x, like that. Okay, and I, that is dy of the x, which I could write if I wanted as negative e squared over x squared plus e to the x. So that could be my dy of the x as well. All that is fine at the same time. Show that the curve has a stationary point in the interval one point. Uh, 3 to 1.4. So for a stationary point, you must state this, for a stationary point, dy over dx is 0. So what we're solving, we're solving the equation e, negative e squared over x squared plus e to the x is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out dy over dx, okay, at a 1.3, x is 1.3, and I'm going to work out dy over dx when x is equal to 1.4 and show that there's a change of sign either side of 0 and hence there's a stationary point. So calculator out and type it in. So fraction negative e squared, so e squared divided by uh, x squared, so x squared, uh, add e to the power of x. Okay, and I'm going to calculate that at 1.3 get myself negative 0 0.7, so negative 0 0.7, and I'm going to calculate that, press calculate at 1.4, and I get 0 0.3, so 0 0.3. And therefore you can state change of sign, the function dy by dx is continuous, therefore stationary point between uh, 1.3 and 1.4. Okay, so we've done the first two nice and quickly and straightforwardly. Then it says point A on the curve has x coordinate 2. Show that the tangent through the curve passes the origin. So what, what we need to do is find the equation of the tangent to the curve and then show it passes through the origin. So first things first, when x is equal to, so this is part C, when x is equal to 2, find what y is equal to. y would be equal to e squared over 2 plus e to the e to the 2. Okay, which if you factor us, that's a half e squared plus 1 e squared, which is 3 over 2 e squared, like that. So our coordinates are 2 and 3 over 2 e squared, like that. Right, um, we want to find the equation of the tangent, so we want to find dy by dx, which we've got luckily. So we had that dy by dx is equal to this thing up here, negative e squared over x squared plus e to the x, and so negative e squared over x squared plus e to the x. And we want to find dy by dx at 2. So dy by dx, when x is equal to 2, would be negative e squared over 4 plus e squared, like that. So this is negative a quarter e squared plus an e squared, which would, be, uh, which would end up being 3 quarters e squared. So that's our dy over dx. So let's use our y, subtract y1 is mx subtract x1. So we'd have y subtract, remember it's 3 over 2 e squared. So 3 over 2 e squared is equal to 3 over 4 e squared, 3 over 4 e squared, x subtract, what was it, 2, like that. Okay, and we could tidy this up, so y subtract 3 over 2 e squared is equal to multiplying this out, 3 over 4 e squared x, and 2 multiplied by this would be negative 3 over 2 e squared. So I could add 3 over 2 e squared to both sides, and I would end up getting that y is equal to 3 over 4 e squared x. So therefore show when x is 0, y is 0, therefore tangent goes 
the origin as required. Okay, so we're done up to that point there. Okay, so let's, um, I'm just gonna take a photograph of the last bit so I don't have to keep looking up. So let's take a photograph of this stuff here. So then it says the, ter the tangent uh, to the curve at A intersects with the curve again at point B. The x coordinate of point B is estimated with this. Find x1, x2 to seven significant figures and state the x coordinate of B to five significant figures. Okay, so we're not asked to show this or anything. We're just asked to use the iterative formula. So we're using xn add one is negative two thirds the square root of three add three xn e to the xn take away two. And they asked us to start with x0 is equal to negative 1. So on your calculator, negative 1 equals, that stores it in the answer capacity. Then let's copy this formula. So negative 2 thirds, so negative fraction 2 thirds square root, uh, square root 3 add 3 aunts e to the power. So e to the power of aunts take away 2, aunts subtract 2. And they want x1, x2, x3 to seven significant figures. So press equals. So seven significant figures. Let's let's write this down. So x1 would be equal to negative 1.1255. So 1.1255. So 8899. Now they want it to seven significant figures. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this here would have been become a nine. So I'm going to change that to a 9 here. So x2, all I've got to do is press equals. So it's negative 1.1258. So negative 1.1258029. So 0, 2, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this would have then become a 3. Like that. Rub that out. And lastly, x3, press equals one more time, negative 1.125, so negative 1.125, and that would have become a 4, like that. The x coordinate of b to five significant figures. So, where do, it stops moving to five significant figures at this point here, see all the way up to here, they have stayed exactly the same. So, therefore, x coordinate of b to five significant figures would be negative 1.1258 5sf, and we're done.